I'm Jade. I'm the music director and one of the DJs over at The Current. And today I'm so excited to welcome you back to Rock the Cradle, Play Along. Here at The Current, we believe that music makes ordinary moments extraordinary. And we're so happy to share some of those moments with you. And today we've invited some of our greatest friends to help us out with this. So we're gonna have a wonderful sing-along with Elena Moon Park, and we're gonna create a rain stick with McPhail Center for Music. We're also gonna learn some new dance moves with House of Dance. We're gonna get silly with Cuckoo Kangaroo. You know those guys get silly. And we're gonna explore a really cool instrument with Minneapolis Institute of Art. Big thanks to our Rock the Cradle Play Along sponsors, Minneapolis Institute of Art, Bell Museum, Pizza Luce, Little Moments Count, McPhail Center for Music, Sala Architects, and Park Dental. And thanks to the generous contributions to NPR's Inspired by You campaign. And Rock the Cradle celebrates all sounds for all people of all ages. And your support is what helps ensure that everyone has access to great music, we want that great music to continue for everyone, not just in this generation, but also in the next. So make your gift of support at support.mpr.org slash rock the cradle. And now you ready for it. Let's get things started with our friend, Elena Moon Park. Hi everyone. My name is Elena Moon Park. I'm coming to you from sunny and lively Brooklyn, New York. And I want to thank Minnesota Public Radio for inviting me to be a part of their Rock the Cradle series. So I want to kick it off by singing a song called Brilliant New Idea. It's the first track off of an album I released last year called Unhurried Journey, which is an album about how songs and stories can take us on a journey around the world. But it also encourages us to take our time on this journey, to take a deep breath for ourselves, and to take a moment to appreciate the things we see and hear around us. And there's a sing-along in this song on the word, ooh, something we can all sing together. And I'll teach you how it sounds in the song. So on the ooh, it just sounds like this. Ooh, can you try that with me? Ooh, that's it. And in addition to singing along, it's a great song for getting your bodies warmed up, for getting your voices warmed up. You can move around, do your favorite kind of first thing in the morning dance, um, and uh, clap your hands, stomp your feet. I'm gonna invite some friends to join me on this song because I love to uh, play music with other people. My friends Colin and John and Sonia to join me on Brilliant New Idea. So let's get those hands and uh, those feet warmed up and get ready to sing our ooze. All right, brilliant new idea. All right, here we go. Great for clapping along. When I was younger, I was wise.
Thank you. That was the song Brilliant New Idea. Thanks to Colin and John and Sonia for joining me. Let's learn. Hello, everybody. My name is Joko Sutrisno. I am the Gamelan teacher here in Minnesota. <coughs> On behalf of Sumonar and the Indonesian Gamelan and Dance Ensemble, today we would like to share with you about Gamelan. Gamelan is a set of instruments that come from the island of Java. It has the gong, metallophone, pod, drum, and string. sing together is a Taiwanese train song which is one of my favorite kinds of songs that you find in the world train songs because I think you can find them everywhere in the world and the song is called Diu Diu Deng and it's a very simple song I'm gonna sing you the whole lyrics in English once and then in Taiwanese because it sounds very cool but um, this is what the entire song is about it goes like this a train is chuck chugging into a tunnel where the water drips down. Makes a sound like a do do sound like a coin when it flips up and drops to the floor.
So that's it. That's the whole song. And um, the part that you can sing along is the sound that the water makes when it hits the top of the train. And that sound again is do do. Can we try that together? Do do. Perfect. And if you want to get your arms involved, you can throw your hands up in the air when you catch the do do. So it goes, makes a sound like a do do, like that. All right. So I'll say it for you once now in Taiwanese, so you can hear the the sound of the rhyme in the Taiwanese language. So it goes like this. Same lyrics. Wei chan yama ito ama ito diu ai yo bong kang lai bong kang itsu ito diu diu dang ya ito ama ito diu ai ito di lo lai. So just like the English verse, you can catch the diu diu with your arms. Bong kang itsu ito diu diu. Perfect. And for the rest of the song, you can just do your favorite kinds of train dances. Making a train, pretending that you're pulling the whistle on a train, any of those dances. The train will start off slow, but then it'll pick up speed and we'll get a little faster towards the end. Okay, here we go. Taiwanese train song, Du Du Dang. Thank you to Colin Brooks and John Fodi for joining me on that. And thank you to all of you for joining me today and for having me today and singing and dancing along with me. 
I hope you have a wonderful rest of the summer and see you next time. Bye. Now a tip from Little Moments Count, sharing the message that brain building begins at birth and it happens in the little moments. Here's a brain building tip about music. Babies love a good beat. Hearing the beat of the same song helps develop a child's social skills and understand how to handle their feelings, and it helps them feel safe. Plus, singing helps babies learn new words and communication skills, and it can be a great way for you to have some fun together. Roughly 80% of brain growth happens in the first three years of life. Singing activates a baby's brain, developing the pathways that help their brain grow. So talk, play, read, and sing in small moments every day because little moments count. Learn more at littlemomentscount.org. Let's make a rain stick. Here are the things that you need to make this rain stick. One paper towel tube, some rice, some Reynolds Wrap aluminum foil, two muffin tins, two rubber bands, and any kind of fun tape you might have. This is just to decorate it at the end. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a piece of aluminum foil, about this size or so, and we're gonna accordion fold it. So kind of go back and forth. So it looks something like this. We're going to put it inside of our tube, just like that. Take one of your muffin tins, put it over one side. You're going to take your rubber band, wrap it around so that that muffin tin stays on tight. We're going to take some rice. and dump it down inside of the tube. We'll take our other muffin tin, put it on the other side, put that rubber band around so it's nice and tight. So what you have looks like this. When you move it from one side to the other, you're gonna hear that rice fall down through the aluminum foil to the other side of the tube. And then we can shake it. So all you have to do now with your tape is decorate the tube. And voila, here is our rain stick. So I just put lots of wasabi tape on here. But then we can move it from side to side and hear the little raindrops falling down. I hear raindrops, I hear raindrops. Pitcher, patter, pitcher, pitcher, patter, pitcher. Listen to the rain drop, listen to the rain drop. Pitcher, patter, pitcher, pitcher, patter, pitcher. Great job, friends! Let's dance! What's up, everybody? This is Jake Riley here at House of Dance Twin Cities. Welcome to video three of our six week video series here at Rock the Cradle. Now, we've done a lot of stuff so far standing upright. I want to show you some transitions to the floor. Now, I'm breaking, we call this go downs. Can everybody say go downs? All right. So, the first go down that we're going to learn is called the straight drop. It's a pretty simple way to go to the floor. We just simply bend our knees and go down to a crouch position. Now, if you notice from a side view, my heels are up but I'm also not on my tippy toes. I'm on the ball or the balls of my feet. Now, if this is a little bit hard to hold, that's okay. You can use one hand to hold you up anywhere around your body. All right, let's stand on up. Now, as I said before, that's pretty basic. Let's add a little style to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one spin first. We are going to spin in a circle and stop and then go into our drop. So we call it spin, stop, drop. It looks like this. I spin, stop, and drop, okay? You can spin any direction that you like, but it's important to note, it's easier to spin 
on this top part of your foot, not on the heel, okay? Try to keep your balance. Let's do that one more time. Spin, stop, drop, spin, stop, and drop. Awesome. Moving to the next drop, it's called the knee down. So what we're going to do is, with my left foot on your screen, it looks like my right foot, I'm gonna turn my heel out and set it down. Now, my right leg is going on the ball of the foot, going to also turn out. This will happen at the same time. Then my front knee is going to drop down gently, and my arms are going to cross over my knee. All right, let's try that together. This time, we're gonna turn our feet out at the same time. One, sit down, and two. Okay, let's try it again, but this time on the other side. One, and left leg comes down. Two. And for safety, be sure not to drop too hard because we don't want to hurt our knees, right? Okay, that once again was called the knee down. The last move that we're going to learn is called the hook drop. Now, first before we learn the hook drop, we gotta take a seat. And what we're gonna do is keep one knee bent up close to our body, up close to our chest, and we're going to bring our other legs out straight. Now, we are going to, with this front leg, hug or hook around our inside leg, the leg that's closest to us. Now, if you notice, my hand is already down by my side, and that is to help hold our position. Let's try it now from standing up. We're gonna start here. My hand is going to be ready by my side, and I'm gonna bring that leg out and drop. So, we have the spin drop, the knee down, and the hook drop. Let's try all three moves to the music. Ready? Three, a two, a three, two, one, and spin. And stop, and drop. Hold it, and up. Now for the knee down, turn the feet, drop the knee. back to the video and practice them. Today's concepts or moves were go downs or transitions to the floor. We'll see you in the fourth video out of our sixth video virtual experience. Thanks for tuning in. This is Jake here at House of Dance. Peace. Rock the Cradle. It's us, Cuckoo Kangaroo. Hello. We're singing a song about glitter. Some people love it. Some people hate it. What about you? When we say glitter, you say glitter! Glitter! Don't be dirty dust on the world, just a wreck it I'm flinging the old point like 2000
Play Along is sponsored by Minneapolis Institute of Art, Bell Museum, Pizza Luce, Little Moments Count, McPhail Center for Music, Sala Architects, Park Dental, and made possible by generous contributions to NPR's Inspired by You campaign. If you enjoyed the music featured in this episode, you can find more tunes for your family's dance party on the Rock the Cradle radio stream. Listen at rockthecradle.org on the current app, or just tell your smart speakers to play Rock the Cradle Radio. Rock the Cradle celebrates all sounds for all ages, from local to legendary, indie to influential. Your support helps ensure that everyone has access to great music. Make a donation to ensure Rock the Cradle is freely accessible. Your financial support helps protect and strengthen the music you value most for this generation and the next. Make a gift of support at support.mpr.org slash rock the cradle.